Today, Friday, March 2nd, the Church celebrates the feast day of St. Agnes of Bohemia, foundress of the Institute of the Sisters of the Company of the Cross. St. Agnes was born on January 30th, 1846, in Seville, Spain, and given the baptismal name Maria of the Angels, Guerrero Gonzalez. The future saint was affectionately known as Angelita. Her father worked as a cook in the convent of the Triunitarian Fathers, where her mother also worked in the laundry. They had fourteen children, with only six reaching adulthood. Angelita was greatly influenced by the teaching and example of her pious parents and was taught from an early age how to pray the rosary. She could often be found in the parish church praying before the image of Our Lady of Good Health while her mother prepared a nearby altar. In their own home, a simple altar was erected in honor of the Virgin Mary during the month of May where the family would recite the rosary and give special honor to Our Lady. Angelita made her first communion when she was eight and her confirmation when she was nine. She had little formal education and began working as a young girl in a shoe shop. Her employer and teacher of shoe repair, Antonia Maldonado, was a holy woman. Every day her employees prayed the rosary together and they read the lives of the saints. Canon Jose Torres Padilla of Seville was Antonia's spiritual director and had a reputation of forming saints. Angelita was 16 years old when she met Father Torres and was put under his direction. Angelita's desire to enter religious life was growing, and when she was 19, she asked to enter the Discalce Carmelites in Santa Cruz, but was refused admission because of her poor health. Instead, following the advice of Father Torres, she began caring for destitute cholera patients because a cholera epidemic was quickly spreading among the poor. In 1868, Angelita tried once again to enter the convent, this time with the Daughters of Charity in Seville. Although her health was still frail, she was admitted. The sisters tried to improve her health and sent her to Quineca and Valencia, but to no avail. She left the Daughters of Charity during the novitiate and returned home to continue working in the shoe shop. Father Torres believed that God had a plan for Angelita, but this plan was still a mystery. On November 1, 1871, at the foot of the cross, she made a private vow to live the evangelical councils, and in 1873, she received the call from God that would mark the beginning of her new mission. During prayer, Angelita saw an empty cross standing directly in front of one upon which Jesus was hanging. She understood immediately that God was asking her to hang from the empty cross, to be poor with the poor in order to bring them to Christ. Angelita continued to work in the shoe shop, but under obedience to Father Torres, she dedicated her free time to writing a detailed spiritual diary that revealed the style and ideal of life she was being called to live. On August 2, 1875, three other women joined Angelita, beginning community life together in a room they rented in Seville. From that day on, they began their visits and gave assistance to the poor day and night. The Sisters of the Company of the Cross under the guidance of Angelita, named Mother Angela of the Cross, lived an authentically recluse contemplative life when they were not among the poor. Once they returned to their home, they dedicated themselves to prayer and silence, but were always ready when they were needed to go out and serve the poor and dying. Mother Angela saw the sisters as angels, called to help and love the poor, and sick in their homes who otherwise would have been abandoned. In 1877, a second community was founded in Utrea, in the province of Seville, and one year later, in Ayamonte. 
Father Torres died that same year, and Father Jose Maria Alvarez was appointed as the second director of the institute. While Mother Angela was alive, another twenty-three convents were established, with the sisters edifying everyone they served by their example of charity, poverty, and humility. In fact, Mother Angela herself was known by all as Mother of the Poor. Mother Angela of the Cross died on March 2, 1932, in Seville. She was beatified by Pope John Paul II on November 5, 1982. With her characteristic humility, she once wrote these words, The nothing keeps silent. The nothing does not want to be. The nothing suffers all. The nothing does not impose itself. The nothing does not command with authority. And finally, the nothing in the creature is practical humility. St. Agnes, when I act as a Christian, I am most true to myself. But when I deny who I am by sinning, I am denying the very core of who I am, a child of God. St. Agnes, pray that I may always live in the truth of the children of God. Amen.